the function of the ear is number one, hearing, number two, balance, and number three thing is the facial nerve passes through the ear. So once we are examining the ear, we must do uh, the facial nerve examination. Number two, check the hearing of the patient. Number three, check the balance of the patient. So first of all, we will examine the facial nerve of the patient. We all know the facial nerve passes through the middle ear, gives four branches in the middle ear, then it comes out of the stylomastoid foramen and divides into five branches. Before it divides, it passes through the parotid gland. In the parotid gland, the facial nerve divides, reunites and then divides. This is called pes and serines. And the facial nerve passes up and supplies the muscles of the forehead. This is the temporal branch. It supplies the muscles of the eye. It is called the zygomatic branch. It supplies the buccinator muscle. It is called the buccal branch. It supplies the angle of the mouth. It is called the marginal mandibular branch. And the fifth one goes and supplies the platysma in the neck. So once we examine the facial nerve, we must examine all the five branches which are supplying the face. So we'll examine the facial nerve. First of all, the temporal branch, frown current, dorsal. We can see the wrinkling present on the current, wrinkling on the forehead. Aankhya zor se band current, tightly. We are trying to open the eyes, but the muscles are intact. It's not easy to open. Kholle, muh mein wabre. So this is, buccinator muscle is intact and there is no escape of fear. So the, both the angles of the mouth, they are pulled by the facial nerve muscles equally. So his facial nerve is intact. The facial nerve gives four branches in the middle ear also. The first one is greater superficial petrosal nerve, which is given the moment the facial nerve enters the middle ear from the inner ear. That is called genome. This nerve supplies the lacrimal gland and activity of this nerve produces a lot of tears. The second nerve which is given from the facial nerve is the tympanic branches to the tympanic membrane. The third nerve is nerve to the stapedius muscle. When this nerve is activated, the stapedius muscle contracts and this thing protects the inner ear from loud sounds. The fourth and the last nerve which is given from the facial nerve in middle ear is called the corda tympani nerve. This nerve goes and supplies the anterior two-thirds of the tongue for taste and for secretomotor system, that is production of saliva. 